Outdoors, and today for this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Kintoma Improved Bug Nap Sleep System. Stay tuned, grab a coffee, and we'll get on with the video. Okay, everyone, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Kintoma Improved Bug Nap Sleep System. This sleep system sleeps one person, its weight is 4.5 pounds. Um, it's packed dimensions, when you pack this thing up in the case, it's 13 inches wide by 13 inches long and its thickness is roughly 4 inches. Its floor area is 90 inches long and then at the head unit, head side is 33 inches wide and at the foot side it's 25 inches wide. It has uh, a 70 denier ripstop nylon floor material. Um, it also has a 5 inch uh, bathtub style floor. Uh, so, in pretty much the crappiest rain conditions, this, this uh, sleep system will keep you pretty dry if you have a tarp set up over this or the rain fly, which I do not have. If any of y'all know where I could get the rain fly at, just the, just the rain fly. Please put it in the comments below or send me a message and let me know. I can't seem to find one. So we're pretty much going to take a look at the head side, the foot side, and then I'm going to show you guys uh, how much space this thing really has with me in it, and then I'll show you guys how to pack this thing up. All right. Okay, so here we're at the head side, and um, I first want to point out you have two stake down points with the uh, fiberglass rods here. You can one stake down point here and another one at the other side. You also have these two uh, two clips on each side. These clips are for attaching to a uh, military style cot. You have one on this side as well as one on this side as well. And that's you also have a uh, opening here. Uh, what I usually do is if I'm using like an A-frame style tarp setup, I'll pretty much run a piece of paracord from here, tie it to a tree, and pretty much make this thing stay pretty tight so it doesn't sag down. Gives you more head uh, space when you're inside this thing, and it just makes it a little bit more comfortable. So now we're going to take a look at the foot side, and we'll get on with that. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here we are at the foot side. Um, as you can tell, this side only has one stake down point right here, and then it also has the same uh, opening here, so you can tie this end out to the tree and make this side really taut. You also have on this side, you have the, uh, the two clips to uh, strap this thing down to the cot, and also uh, the middle has one, and it just runs along the whole body of the uh, sleep system. And then that you just put that uh, strap system right under the whole cot and hook it onto the other side. Uh, so now we're pretty much gonna, I'm gonna show you uh, how much space you have in this thing. So stay tuned and we'll be back in a minute. All right guys, so I'm inside the improved bug net sleep system. And as you can tell, if I scoop my head all the way to the top here, I have roughly about a foot or two of space at the foot side, um, and I have quite a bit of room on my right and left side as well, so you don't have to sleep like you're in a position of attention. You could roll on your side, and uh, you can still sleep pretty comfortably as well. Okay, I want to point out as well, you have a... Uh, Two tie-up points here, so you can tie the, uh, the door open, keep it open, you can do that as well. Um, and you have a little bit of space here, so you can tie this thing up to a tree. And you can tie this thing up to a tree, and you can tie this thing up to a tree. And you can tie this thing up to a tree, and you can tie this thing up to a tree. And you can tie this thing up to a tree, and you can tie this thing up to a tree. And you can tie this thing up to a tree, and you can tie this thing up to a tree. And you can tie this thing up to a tree, and you can tie this thing up to a tree. And you can tie this thing up to a tree, and you can tie this thing up to a tree. And you can tie this thing up to a tree, and you can tie this thing up to a tree. And you can tie this thing up to a tree, and you can tie this thing you can see uh, this is the head side, you have know, a pocket there to store extra gear and that's pretty much it on the head side and I'll just pretty much go real close around this whole sleep system so you can see uh, pretty much 
what it looks like up close. These are little buckles here. This is your uh, foot end, the tie-in point. And up here you have the uh, other one as well. And then you also have the other buckle there to strap to the other side of the top. That side, you have the uh, other strap down point here and the uh, strap here attached to the cot and same thing on this side. And we also have the uh, tie out point here as well. Um, like I said, this comes with a rain fly, but I don't have the rain fly as of right now. I'm um, looking into buying one, I just don't know where to buy it. So, once again, if any of y'all know, please let me know in the comments below. And you also have these tie out points here and one on the top as well. So, you can pretty much just tie it up there like that and it will stay open for you. Now, I'm not sure what these are for, but I think they are for the, uh, the rain fly. You would run your poles up through here and then down around and they would attach to something down here which I'm not sure um, when I get that I'll figure it out and let y'all know so this is pretty much what it looks like up close and right now I'm going to show you how I how to fold it up so we'll be back in a moment okay now guys we're going to pretty much show you how to uh, get this improved bug net feed system that in this carrying case, there's a very popular way on how you get this thing in here. Um, but I will show you when you get yours, if you buy it, um, it comes with instructions on the inside. So it pretty much tells you exactly how to fold it up to get in here. Now this uh, may seem very awkward, very awkward way on how to get this thing folded up inside this little small bag. Uh, but just watch the video and pretty much what I'm going to show you is exactly how it's done on this uh, paper. So let's get into it. Okay, so pretty much what you're going to do first is grab uh, both ends of the head unit, head side, bring them together, and then do the same on the foot side. And you're pretty much going to make a trash can like this and like you get this so you're making a trash can and then this uh, opposite side that you're, you're not holding you push down actually so y'all can see it so you, you push down and then you have uh, three circles you're gonna have one circle two circles Three circles. So you're pretty much just gonna push one of these down and then make uh, one circle. Now this is where it gets very awkward so I have one circle and you're pretty much just gonna make a uh, figure eight with this. Now it's gonna be really awkward you're gonna feel like you're gonna break it, or the poles are gonna snap, but I promise you the poles are not gonna snap. So you're pretty much just gonna push it together, and then twist. And then you're gonna grab it like this. So you see, it's pretty much like a figure eight here. And then all you're gonna do is just pretty much push this down, like that. And then bam, now, now it's gonna fit into that small, uh, carrying case as well. You can go to Walmart and buy a compression strap to uh, put around this thing so when you do take it out the carrying case, it doesn't just go all over the place and hit you in the face or hit someone else because when you let this thing go, it, it really is pretty powerful. If you're not careful and this thing hits you in the face, it could probably do some damage to you. Now, I've, I don't know, I've never done it before, so. I'm not going to try. <laughs> so pretty much, uh, I usually just use the um, the middle strap that goes 
along the middle of this to keep it clamped down. But first video, I'm just going to put it back into the carrying case. Okay, you guys, so here we have the uh, improved bug nut sleep system, and we're just going to put it back into its carrying case like this. And what I do is I, I still hold it, I mean, I just I just work the zipper around just so the thing doesn't come flying back out at me while I'm trying to put it in the case. And there you have it. It's all back in the case and it's that simple. Alright everyone, so that was this review on the Katana Improved Bug Nap Sleep System. Don't forget to comment, like, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Strength and honor. Be well. Everyone have a good day.